Hello Makers. In this video we're going to assemble the knees for our static in-move legs. I've printed off a heap of parts, uh, a complete set for the left and right side. So I'm going to start the assembly. So these are pretty straightforward and easy. Actually very easy. So we will need a couple of threaded rods with nuts to go through, a shorter one and a longer one. Just so you know, the longer unit is between 120 and 125 millimeters long, and the shorter one is around the 75 millimeter long mark. So these longer uh, leg pins are for the main axle through the knee joint and these smaller ones are for the prop that will actually brace the knee to stop it from moving. So we'll put this in first Now, when looking at this design, you can see here what looks like a gear, and if we look around here, provision for a round pot. I think this is actually part of the moving the design that Gail came up with, and it looks like it would actually be fairly good. We'll have to see if we can't uh, get him to share the rest of the files so we can have a look at it. Okay, so these two parts here printed are joined and you'll probably note a notch up this end and a notch on this end. They line up and then this can be glued and in my case I'll also weld. This is one I prepared earlier, well, uh, gluing together. I haven't yet welded, so when I finish welding it together, I'll install it. This part here, the notch actually goes to the inside and it will slide into, or slot into here. And we put the these uh, pivots in and then we put in a small threaded rod. Now if this was connected to a piston within the uh, thigh, um, it could be used to actuate the leg. Or the knee. So as you can see there's not much to it. I'm going to put a bit of glue on. I'm just using a bit of super glue or CA glue. Now because I'm going to be welding, I'm not going to get too close to the edge, but this middle area won't get picked up in a weld. It does take a little time to go off. And we'll just put that to one side for now while that sets. On the second side, the 
The other thing I like about this design of the knee is the fact that this whole section here has bolt holes and will bolt to the, uh, in this case the tibia and on the top the thigh. I have a five piece printing at the moment but it's not yet ready to show you on account it hasn't come off the printer yet. Um, this piece is designed when the, uh, the thigh piece is finished three bolts are connected to it then this will be slotted up into the thigh and bolts through to hold it in place. This thing gets mounted here and that stops all movement. It's actually a very simple but effective design and the fact that it bolts together means that there is great potential for it in a walking robot particularly where we design, modify and redo. Now one of the things I found with the tibia section and I have it here is this screw hole is very, very close to the wall of the leg where it comes out. In fact, it's so close that um, you can't get a screw up there properly. Now, normally for something like this, I would screw down from the top. Is this the right one? Grab the other tibia. So, so with this, because you can't get a screw all the way up into there, and you can't get a nut up there either with the screw on, I've uh, modified this bolt by putting a flat on one side. And I just used a belt sander to do that so that I can push it up from underneath and the flat sit, sits up against the wall of the leg and it can't rotate. The others I can probably get nuts on through. Normally I don't like doing it that way because uh, well if the bolts are too long they get in the way and they can fail things. see the bolt poking up through there in the middle. So it might be easier to take the knee off. good news is there's nothing for that bolt head or bolt to get caught up on. And I'll get a socket in there shortly and do that up. The rest are pretty standard and just poke down through. and then I can put the nut on from the other side.
Okay, so next step for me is to weld up this piece. Uh, when the super glue is finished going off, or the CA glue has finished going off, I will weld up the other piece as well. Uh, and we'll see what it looks like then. Okay, when I grabbed this filament off its roll, um, it broke, which is a very good indication it was damp. So last night I put it through the uh, dehydrator, uh, four hours at 45 degrees C to dry out the filament. Now, because this is a black part and all the other videos I've done of welding have been in white, I'm going to have to do a purge on this one. So this is set at 200 and if it would focus you'd be able to see the uh, temperature climbing reasonably rapidly. Near as I can make out the light up on this end is just power on running and this end will turn green when it's up to temperature. Currently it's red. The filament does feel better for the drying. So we'll see how it goes when we run it through the pen. Next trick with this, once it's cooled down, is to give it a, a bit of a file, just to clean up the edges. I'll come back after when I've done that. Okay, so this is the left knee clamp, welded up and filed and then a bit of a sand back. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. This is the side I'm more concerned with, but looking all right because that's the side that will be visible on the outside. This side I'm not really worried about. That's where the dip was for alignment, uh, and that's on the inside where you won't see it. So the next trick is to reinstall this. When I went back and had a look at the InMove site with the instructions on constructing, I noticed that Gail had printed these in a different colour and I may yet do the same thing because I actually like the look of it that way. So in future videos you may see these replaced with white ones. Uh, currently my printer is busy and it'll be a while before I get round to printing uh, these parts out. So that'll do for this video. Uh, next video I'll be attaching the thigh to the knee. Uh, they're currently printing. I've actually got the lower part of the first one printed. That's this one. Uh, it's the left thigh piece, left lower thigh piece. 
It looks like the thigh is constructed in four height uh, or four layers. So there's this one, a middle one, the upper part of the thigh, and then there's the coupling to the rest of the robot. So I've got those all set up to print, but they're not yet printing obviously. The second thigh, the right hand side lower, is currently printing. Uh, this part slides into here. Uh, screws with nuts on the back fit into there and then this gets pinned and this clamps it from moving. So that'll do for this video. I'll see you in the next video so you don't miss it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video.